Remember video responses? I sure do. Yep, those were good times, the good old days of YouTube. And you know, this would be a good time for YouTube to temporarily, at least, revive video responses. Um, now, before I start, I don't want, I don't, this video, this video is not meant to offend the, uh, original uploader, but, uh, and it's not meant to piss anybody off, but I just thought it would be a good way to respond to V Westlife's recent video on the Windows 10 upgrade where you set your clock back to July 29th or earlier and you get the upgrade for free again. Well, I'm just here to say that it's official. I think Microsoft did kill the update server or the the servers for the GWX app because as you can see on this HP Pavilion DV2000, my media center laptop, the icon is gone and it was there yesterday. And even if I go into hidden icons, you will notice it is no longer there. And you will also notice that I, if I go into Windows Update, which I'll go ahead and pull up here, we go to View Update History. Well, there, there, there are a ton of updates here, but there, in this list, there's definitely one of those KB numbers is the one for the GWX app. Although I wonder, though, if the GWX app is still running. Let's go to Processes and Task Manager and see if it's still there. C, D, E, F, nope, it's not there anymore. So it looks like it's official, folks. It looks like Microsoft has killed off the Windows 10 upgrade. And uh, the same goes for my domain joined PC over here. This is my domain joined, was my old work laptop, but I still have it joined to the domain, Windows 7 Pro laptop, and you can see the icon is also gone. So, unfortunately, it looks like M$ sign has killed off, has officially killed off the free Windows 10 upgrade. Now, if you ask me, and before I say this, please, I want to ask to for you guys to please refrain from posting any hate comments or, you know, just spamming this video with hate. Um... I personally, I liked Windows 10, but the problem with it was the spying on you, which yes, I know you can disable, but I've heard that Microsoft re-enables it, and through updates it just turns itself back on. Um, that was one thing I didn't like, and this Metro stuff, I'm old school, so I kind of liked Windows before they added all the Metro stuff, and the app, the Windows Store, and... Um, you know, all the other stuff, which is another reason I switched to the Mac. I still use PCs, but I, I'm mostly a Mac user now. But the good news is, as for me at least, if I want to upgrade to Windows 10, I've got a copy right here. It's an OEM copy of Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. So if I ever did want to upgrade one of my machines, I could do it in a heartbeat. Um, for instance, I might upgrade my brand new toy over there, my IBM Think Center. Uh, M75E, which I'll be doing an unboxing video on soon. But I just thought I'd make this video response to V Westlife and just say to anyone who is thinking that they can get the free upgrade still, unfortunately, it looks like Microsoft has officially killed it, folks. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.